Hello again, everybody. It's Miss Campbell. Here we are with the letter names on the staff, and I have this silly little uh, activity to do, um, and it's called I Thought That I Was Crazy. And I'm just going to go ahead and read our instructions here about this activity. Here's a chance to read a funny poem and learn your note names at the same time. Some of the words in this poem are spelled out with music notes instead of alphabet letters, you know, because we have the A, B, C, D, E, F, G in our musical alphabet. Figure out what the note names are and write them in the blanks below the notes to solve the puzzle. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's review the letter names on the staff. If you're hearing extra little noises, my little baby river is is making little cooing sounds sometimes. So yeah, well, here we are. Okay, here's our music staff. Remember we have five lines and four spaces and we always start from the bottom and go to the top. As Miss Williams said, um, if you go into a building and ride the elevator, you're starting at the bottom and going to the top. So we would count them as one, two, three, four, five for the lines and one, two, three, four for the spaces five lines, four spaces. And then this symbol over here, do you remember what it's called? It's got two different names. One starts with a T, treble clef, and uh, we can also call it the G clef because it is the curly Q G. And it curls around and intersects a bunch of times with the line that is the letter G. And then as we know, the musical alphabet is only A, B, C, D, E, F, G before it repeats. So if we're at G and we go up, we're gonna restart our alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F. And if we kept going, we would have a G over here um, above this line and then A, B. And yes, we can keep going up and go quite high. Um, and let's go down now, which means we have to go back in the alphabet and back from G is F and then E. Okay, now it's annoying to count our way through all the time, so we have our cheat. The spaces of the staff spell face from bottom to top, and the lines you can say every good boy does fine, um, or every good burger deserves fries. Whoops, that didn't quite come out the way I wanted. Um, and I believe Miss Williams said every good bird does fly. I think is the one that she used, but really any sentence that goes E, G, B, D, F will work. All right, here's... <laughs> here's our poem. I woke up this morning and jumped out of... Okay, we're on the third line, um, so we have to use our sentence rather than our spaces. So say it with me, every good burger, which means this one here is gonna be, whoopsies, the letter B. Ah, I didn't remember that those went individual and went all together, okay. And of course, this is the bottom line. So the first word in our sentence, which is every. And then this one is too low to be in our sentence or our face clue. And so we just have to take the letter E. And since we're going down, we got to go backwards one. And backwards from E is D, which is why the first word in our little poem is bed. All right. And I thought I was going crazy, going out of my... And you might be able to guess what's right there, um, but let's go ahead and check it. Do you remember what the first line is? Hope you said E. And over here we have the, the same D. So let's figure out what this one is. Is that a line or a space? It's between the lines, which makes it a space. So we use our face clue, F, A. All right, E-A-D, yep, you probably guessed because bed and head rhyme. I've been dreaming of my homework with a smile on my, you might be able to guess this one too, but let's check. All right, first space, space rhymes with base, yep. So this one is F, hey, let's just go up the line, the spaces here, F, a, whoops, I clicked 
C and the first line, which is E. I got to get better at my click finger and not give our answers away. All right. And doing as I asked and always in my, oh, it gave us two letters to start with because those aren't in the musical alphabet. Okay, second space. You might remember this one already. Third space. First line, this is looking familiar. Hopefully, the more we do this, the more you can just know it, right? Okay, so A, C, E, and always in my place, because hey, that looks actually exactly like that. And remember, the easier you can make it on yourself, the better. I loved to please my parents, and hmm, you might guess that one. Let's see if it works the way you think. First line. We've done this one a lot now. It's been in every answer. Hopefully you already told me the letter E. Second space, we already did this one. Third space, we already did this one. And first line, we already did this one. So what's the word, everybody? Teachers. I love to please my parents and teachers alike. I loved to pick up my, uh, I loved to pick my toys up. Oh, that one's not as clear, but we've done all these letters before as well. All right, are we on a line or a space? Okay, so we use not face, but sentence because it's on the lines. Okay, say it with me. Every good burger. So this is the letter B. First line is E, first space. F, and hey, look, we have another E. Okay, so that's B, E, F, O, R, E, before. Okay, I woke up this morning and jumped out of bed. I thought I was going crazy, going out of my head. I've been dreaming of my homework with a smile on my face and doing as I'm asked and always in my place. I loved to please my parents and teachers alike. I loved to pick my toys up before I ride my bike. Let's see. Oh, only got four more answers to go. This is totally achievable. The knocking at the door is what startled me from this. Eh, there's only a few letters on each of these. This is going to be easy. All right, first space. Do you remember that one already? Space spells face. So the first one is F. Okay. Oh, we haven't done this one. You can either use this clue or you can have the line sentence. So every good. All right, so we have an F and a G. Startled me from this fright and saved me from this dream. Okay, hopefully you're already thinking that's in a space. So F, A, N, Oh, that one's the one that's below the line. And the first line is E, and we go backwards to D. So A and D. Saved me from this dream and most certain plight. Had my dream continued, I feared they'd come. There'd come a. Ah, look, we just did that one. D. A Y, there'd come a day when men in white would come for me and carry me. Those look the same. And carry me away. Okay, we've got the whole thing. I woke up this morning and jumped out of bed. I thought I was going, or I thought I was crazy, going out of my head. I'd been dreaming of my homework with a smile on my face and doing as I'm asked and always in my place. I loved to please my parents and teachers alike. I loved to pick my toys up before I ride my bike. The knocking at the door is what startled me from this fright and saved me from this dream and most certain plight. Had my dream continued, I feared there'd come a day the men in white would come for me and carry me away. <laughs> oh, that's silly. All right, till next time, everybody.